same old chicken dish over and over again every week. We're gonna learn how to make Moroccan chicken from Hands On Gourmet. This one's so good, you're gonna to wanna to make it a staple in your monthly planning menu. You know, I get stuck in a rut sometimes making the same chicken dishes over and over on rotation. So I really welcome the opportunity to shake things up and do something in one skillet. We're gonna learn how to make Moroccan chicken. And I'm here with Steven from Hands On Gourmet. Hello. Hi, Steven, so nice to see you. Now, I was Thank wondering, you. what is Hands On Gourmet all about? Ah, okay. Well, Hands On Gourmet, we host group cooking parties. Yes. Where uh, folks come together, cook together with professional chefs, and they eat together, and it's mainly for um, company team buildings and other private celebrations. Well, I'm excited to be a student of yours today to learn uh -huh. how to make Moroccan chicken of all dishes. Yes. And I already see that you have something frying up in a cast iron skillet. I Looks do. Like minced onions. So th these are chopped onions, okay. and, I'm, and I'm getting these going so we can get them nice and soft and develop the flavors. I've already sauteed some chicken in here, so it has a little base of flavor starting. Oh, yeah. So right? you get the chicken to flavor the onions, and it looks like like you use olive oil over here, right? Uh-huh. There's a, uh, two Great. tablespoons of olive oil. Yep. Perfect. So now? Uh, ginger. I mean, oh. uh, excuse me. Uh, garlic. 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 You We're going to add some minced garlic over here. Uh-huh. And you just, you, the garlic, you don't want to saute too long, right? No, for about 10 to 20 seconds. Perfect. And we just want to bloom the flavor. Okay. So at this point, let's start putting the spices. Uh, paprika. So this is what's going to give it the Moroccan flair, right? So paprika. Yeah. So then we have um, what is that? That's uh, like that's coriander. Coriander. Yeah. Coriander is really going to smell amazing. You smell that? Yeah. Yes. And then we've got some uh, ground fennel. Fennel. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then we've got cumin. Cumin and smoky, nice and smoky. Last but not least is the cinnamon. Now this is cinnamon is interesting. Most people associate cinnamon with apple pie, but in Moroccan cooking you add it to savory dishes too, right? Right. Well, you know, it's it's um it's a beautiful Morocco is a beautiful intersection of flavor from all these different countries. So let's put let's the chicken put stock the in. Chicken stock. So that yeah. you can buy store bought chicken stock if you're on the run and you don't have time to make your own. Yes, if you, you can buy the store bought chicken stock. Um, Get low sodium if you can. Okay. And then we've got these uh, chopped tomatoes and juice. Yeah. Great. Can Good. you use a canned kind if you sure don't can. have fresh? Okay. Yep. Great. And then let's throw in um, let's throw in the uh, the olives and the apricots. So then we have like a, a salty sour flavor profile. I Good. love that. I love salty sour sweet mm -hmm. all in one dish. That's my I'm favorite. Turn up the heat on this. So and if you could probably add, I've seen prunes too, right? Yeah, you yeah, could add yeah. Prunes definitely. If you don't Chop have dried apricots. Pr prunes yeah. work absolutely. Yeah. Um, let's throw in the uh, cilantro. Cilantro. I love cilantro. Now. Uh, could we use parsley instead of cilantro? Yeah. Some people don't like cilantro. I'm thinking of my dad. I'm talking to you, dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you could definitely use uh, parsley instead of cilantro. All right. And then we're, we're, typically we want these flavors to develop for about 20 minutes. Yes. But for the sake of time, we're going to pretend that it's coming to heat. Right. And then we're going to throw in the um, preserved lemons. Now, this is a very interesting ingredient. Um, a lot of people don't cook with preserved lemons. And, you know, when you buy them in the store, they look like this, right? Uh -huh. And, I mean, can you find this in any supermarket pretty much? Well, yeah. you know, sometimes you can find the supermarkets, your specialty markets, but if not, you can get them online. And why would you use this over fresh lemons, for example? Ah, that's a great question. Because yeah. they're, they're, they're pickled, they're preserved in okay. a brine. Um, and these came down from Spain. So nice. the, the, the olives and the preserved lemons came down from the early Yeah, because yeah. Spain is right next to Morocco. So Yes. Let's add the chicken, yeah, we'll which she had seared already to get that beautiful brown mm -hmm. coating, right? Yep. That Thanks. is gorgeous. Now, if you want to bake this in the oven, how long do you bake it for? So we, we would bake this for uh, about 30 minutes at 350 degrees, and we would put a lid on it right. um, and throw it in the oven. And so this is kind of a, a Western version of a tagine pot. Nice. So we, yeah, it's like circulating the heat in there. Yeah. He brings up a good point because tagine is actually the vessel. So yes. this is what the finished product looks like. Uh -huh. Isn't that gorgeous? And I guess you like to serve it with couscous? Or? Yeah, yeah, couscous. Um, some roasted vegetables, and then, of course, we want to take these delicious mm. juices. Look at that. Oh. Thank you so much, Stephen. My pleasure. This is, this is like tangy and savory, a little mm -hmm. bit of sweetness. Yep. This is everything I want in one meal.